So I've begun by downloading the weekly starting files, angularmentors.zip, to my htdocs folder. And I'm going to right click and extract all to Angular Mentors. And the download this time is pretty similar to the download last time we worked on the Mentors page. Um, I've included an additional um, ascending GIF and descending GIF for sorting the table. And I've made some changes to the combo CSS file. But this Mentors SQL file is the same. So if you already have a Mentors database, you can just use that. If you don't, and you want to create the Mentors user or Mentor user and the Mentors database, um, please refer to um, Lab 6 on how to create that. And then the original page is the same as the last download, and most of the rest of this is the same as well. So let's get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is copy original.htm and make a new copy called AKYM for Angular Know Your Mentor. And then I'm going to edit this in Notepad. So here it is, and it's the same as the starting point from before. Um, let's go ahead and get started by adding jQuery UI to this. And we only need one piece of functionality for this page. Um, we need the autocomplete box, which I've been calling a combo box. So let's go ahead and open a new tab and go to jQuery UI. And we're going to go to the download builder. And I'm going to use the latest version, which is a little problem, and we'll get into that in a minute. But for now, I'm just going to use the latest version, and then I'm going to untoggle everything, and I'm going to select only the widget I need, which is autocomplete. So autocomplete is the thing that suggests completions. And when I select autocomplete, that automatically includes some other things that autocomplete needs to run. So it includes menu, it includes position, core, and widget from UI core. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then we're going to select a theme. And I'm going to use smoothness here because it's a fairly good match to what I have already. And then hit the download button. So this will download a jQuery UI zip file to my downloads folder. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. And uh, I've done this before, so now I'm up to version 2. But I'm going to just right click on this and extract all to a new folder. And here's the download that just has the autocomplete. And so I want this folder here that contains the index.html. And I'm going to rename this to jQuery UI. And then I'm going to cut that folder and go to my XAMPP folder, htdocs, Angular Mentors. And I'm going to paste this in. And then I'm going to edit the index.html file in Notepad plus plus so that I can get this link. So I want this link here in my Angular Know Your Mentors page. And I'll just put it over here with the rest of these links. And then I also need these two scripts from the bottom of the page. So I'm going to copy those. And I'm going to add them above this line that includes jQuery UI. So paste those in right there. And then I have to change these paths a little bit because now this is inside of a jQuery UI folder. And I also have to do that for this jQuery UI CSS page that I downloaded. So now I'm almost done, except that I'm loading jQuery UI externally here from my jQuery UI download. And so I don't also want to load it from the PCC website. So I'm going to get rid of this line. But I'm going to have another problem. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to go to my browser. And I'm going to point it at localhost Angular 
mentors. And then I'm going to open the AKYM file here. And it looks OK. But if I go F12, I see I have a little error here. So uncaught error, syntax error, unrecognized expression, blah. And so this is actually in the PCC jQuery library. Um, basically, this worked with the older version that PCC is using, which is, I think, version 1.2 some odd, so really ancient, um, but does not work in the current version. So in real life, this would be a problem because uh, jQuery UI is not compatible with the rest of the PCC website at this point. And none of the, you have to go way back in previous versions to get something that is compatible. And so this would require some discussion if I wanted to actually implement these changes on the live site. But for now, all I'm going to do is comment out this line that loads the PCC library JavaScript. Because it turns out that I don't really need any of this functionality, at least not for my project. And then if I go ahead and hit reload, now it loads correctly.